700 kilometers above the southern Atlantic Ocean, flying at 25,000 kilometers an hour. The leader of the space mission Polaris Dawn prepares to do something no civilian has done before. He turns a handle, gives a strong push, and with a silent puff of air, Jared Isaacman exposes his crew to the uncompromising vacuum of space. This is the first commercial mission to attempt a spacewalk. Led by SpaceX, it is meant to step into a new era of human spaceflight led by companies. And then, two million viewers watched through the astronauts' own helmet with the Earth in full view. Back at home, we all have a lot of work to do, but from here, Earth sure looks like a perfect world. SpaceX's billionaire owner Elon Musk has always said he wants to travel to Mars. The U.S. space program NASA wants to get there too, and it needs SpaceX to do so. But the company needs spacesuits that can withstand the pressure, temperature, radiation, and other risks of space. And it needs data about how humans cope without weight. So that voyage starts with some tests right here, a wave of the arm back towards the Earth. That's the fundamental shift is it's no longer under governments to control access to space anymore. And there's private individuals that, that are able to put different companies and, and humans um, into space. And it's completely transforming the industry and it's transforming forming Earth. You know, we're in this new space age. This mission is expensive, but one billionaire is on board and another, Elon Musk, is likely watching closely. This is very much an experimentation. It's really trying to push the frontiers of commercial space travel and space tourism. So they do have some scientific aspects, particularly regarding the space travel. But fundamentally, what they're doing is having a bit of fun. And they are paying for it because it's phenomenally expensive. Below them on Earth, SpaceX's Starship, the largest rocket to carry humans by far, is getting closer to its first use. In just a few years, the company has transformed from startup to spacefarer. Colin Baker, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.